The feature we'll be discussing today is the ability to copy between estimates. One of the benefits within the V2W estimate program is having all estimates stored in a single SQL database. This allows the user to copy between estimates both at the item level and also at the resource level. So let's get started. I'm going to open one of my estimates. From the screen here, the Windows button at the top of the screen allows me to create a new window, which essentially creates a new session of the B2W Estimate program. After clicking there, you can see at the bottom of the screen, I now have two B2W Estimate sessions running. I now can go back to the Windows button, click, and tile the windows vertically. This sets each of my sessions aside each other. From here, I can go to the Estimate Detail tab. In the estimate which I want to pull from, on this side, the estimate I want to pull into, I simply open the estimate that I want to pull the items into, selecting from the Open Estimate dialog. Here, I choose which bid that I want to pull into, open it up, and again, go into the Estimate Detail tab. From here, there's a listing of all the items in the estimate I want to pull from, and a listing of the items of the estimate I want to pull into. At the item level, there's a couple different ways to do this. If I simply want a single item from bid to bid, I grab the item, pull, drag, drop it where I want it to sit inside the bid. A wizard will pop up and this helps clean that item up before loading it in to the target bid. From here I click Next and you're given some options. One is to update the cost to match the target estimate. Basically this is saying that you're potentially pulling from a bid that has older or inaccurate cost values. So what it's going to do, it's going to look inside the bid you're pulling to and match the labor rate class, the equipment rate class and such so that you have an accurate bid. If you want to keep the original cost, you can select that as well. I click Next. The next screen makes sure that I clean up my pricing. So if you've got pricing that you've established inside the item that you're pulling into your new bid, this will clean that up so it's nice and clean and ready for distribution with your bid pricing strategy in this bid. I click Next. The last screen is my confirmation screen telling me exactly what's going to happen. I click Finish and I now have the new item inside the estimate from the old estimate. That's at the item level. You may also pull resources from one estimate to another. So if I open up an item and I want to pull a material or a crew or any other costing resource, I simply grab the resource and drag it over to the item where I want it placed. Again, the wizard will come up making sure that you can clean up your costing. And since there's no pricing at the, at the resource level, you'll not see that second screen. I click Finish and the process is complete. If there's any factors associated with the resource that I'm pulling in, it'll give you a prompt to see if you want to modify the factor or if you want to leave it as is. The last way to pull in complete items or groups of items together is to use the grid format. Here, if I want to pull multiple items, I simply choose the items that I want to pull, maybe this grouping of items, grabbing from the gray select box, I now can pull all the items over at once to this bid so that now instead of pulling a single item, I can pull groups of items as well. That goes true for costing resources. If I want to pull multiple different resources, I can then select the resources I want to pull and then pull selectively across into my current bid. This will save you time and make things more efficient in the event you have not saved those items into your item database or in the event you only want to pull specific resources from bid to bid. That concludes the tutorial on copying from estimate to estimate.